Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this. Square root of x plus 2x equals 10. Okay, so this is what we want to find. And um, one thing I know is that many of you will just guess and get the solution to this. But then what if you are to solve it in um, an examination? What would you do? Okay, so let's look, um, watch the steps I'm going to take. We're going to move this to the other side. So we have root x remaining on the left and it's equal to 10 minus, this is positive, so it becomes negative 2x. Now the next target is to remove this. So we're going to write this. Then we have 10 minus 2x. Do you know that the next thing I'll do is to square this so that this and this can go and I must square the right hand side. So x is there and then here we have 10 minus 2x in two places. 10 minus 2x because of the square there. Now this x you write it. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times minus 2 is minus 20. 10 times minus 10 times 10x times 2 or 2x times 10 is still minus 20x. By the way, this is supposed to be carrying x, right? Because we're having 10 times minus 2x minus 20x. This times this minus 20x, but this will turn to positive because we have um, negative 2x times negative 2x. That would be 4 x to the power of 2. Now let's continue from here. So we have x to be equal to 100 minus 40x plus 4x squared because minus 20x minus 20x is minus 40x. Now the next thing is to write this one first. So I'm going to bring this to this side. Okay, I'm going to bring it this way. So it becomes um, 4x. Now I'm not changing the sign because um, it's still appearing on a particular side just like it was originally. So this is here. This will become negative 40x. Then this one is the one that is going to meet with this. So it's going to become negative x. Then 100 is still where it is. Write positive 100. Everything is equal to zero. Now we have um, 4x squared, negative 41x plus 100 equals zero. This is because minus 40x minus 1x is minus 41x. Now the formula we are going to use is um, quadratic general formula. And that has a, b, c. The a there is 4 here. Now our b is minus 41, then our c is 100. Okay, so let's open the bracket and let's bring down the formula. The formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So our x will now be minus b, that will be minus, minus 41. Because this negative in the formula will come out, and b itself is negative 41. Plus or minus square root of b squared, that will be negative 41 squared, minus 4 times a is 4, right? Then c is 100. Everything here is divided by 2 times a. Our a is 4. Right? So let's continue from here. We get x to be equal to negative, negative will give positive. That is 41. Plus or minus, we have minus 41 squared. This will give us 1681. Then 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 100 is 1600, 
then this is divided by 2 times 4 is 8. Let's continue. So our x will be 41 plus or minus square root of 16, 81 minus 16, 0, 0. That will give 81. Then we divide by 8. Then you see that 81 is a perfect square. So we can get a square root. x will be plus um, 41 plus or minus square root of 81 is 9. So we have 9 over 8 like this right but then okay so here we have from um, plus or minus so our x is going to be 41 plus 9 over 8 or 41 minus 9 over 8 so from here we have x to be 41 plus 9 is 50 over 8 or if you subtract this you're going to have um, 32 so we have 32 over 8 now 50 divided by 2 by 8 can be written as 25 over 4 2 into 50 is 25 2 into 8 is 4 or here we have 32 divided by 8 that will give 4 now let's verify our results verification the equation is um, square root of x plus 2x equals 10 okay and it's obvious that the answer is 4 okay because if we put 4 here we have square root of 4 plus 2 multiplied by 4 x is 4 square root of 4 will give 2 plus 2 times 4 that will give 8 and 2 plus 8 is 10 so this means that x equals 4 satisfies the equation if you put in x to be equal to 25 over 4 that means we're going to have in place of root x we'll have square root of 25 over 4 plus we have 2 into because we have 2x right now it's going to be 2 times x is still 25 over 4 now do you think this will give us um 10 let's work it this is the same as 5 over 2 because square root of 25 is 5 square root of 4 is 2 plus 2 can go here right so we have 25 over 2 down here now the LCM here is 2, then we have 5 plus 25. So at the end of the day, we are going to have 30. We're going to have 30 over 2, which is equal to 15. But remember the equation, root x plus 2x equals 10. So this and this are not the same. So our x equals 25 over 4 has to be rejected. Thank you for watching.